rescue the urban wildlife of Bangalore. Almost 16 hours in a day. So we have uh, four uh, two-wheeler ambulances and three four-wheeler ambulances. We are around the Bangalore. So wherever we get information of a macaque, a mammal, a bird or a reptile injured, we go and rescue the animal. So we don't ask for any donation, we rescue the animal. So then we bring it to here for recovery. The recovery process is with the veterinarians. We have a team of veterinarians, the curator and the rehabilitator. The animal is, uh, the treatment is given. So we have a lot of surgical facilities here. We do one of the most advanced surgeries in the world here, including acupuncture and snakes, which is not done anywhere in the world. We do intramedullary pinning in, uh, in, in monkeys who have got uh, fractures and we put titanium plates on shell fractures of tortoise and turtles. Since Bangalore, there's unplanned urbanization going on. So there's an indiscriminate use of JCBs in clearing areas for the apartments. So many other dwelling places of the wild animals, especially the snakes. When they use the JCB indiscriminately, there we get many cases of fracture in snakes. And many a cases, the intestine being ripped out. We get cases all around the day and sometimes during the night. variety of uh, animals all all kinds of birds black kites the brahmini kites different type of owls the barbets the bulbuls so variety of birds we almost rescued so far now 13 to 14000 birds of uh, eaves and we have released them back into the nature We get ba Bangalore being a home to a lot of bonnet macaques, the, the, the common monkeys you see. We get huge number of cases of electrocution. We get huge number of cases of um, vehicle being hit. So we, al we also have a, uh, most of the animals bringing uh, bought here are treated and released back. Almost 99% of the animals are released back.
the animal which cannot defend itself in the wild, we keep them here. Like the same way I said the black kites, uh, which uh, wings get ankylized, they cannot fly. If you release them, the stray dogs get them. So they also, we keep them here. And some other blind macaques, somebody has thrown acids at them. So they also, they also here. So the, like I said, the animals which cannot defend itself in the wild, that's kept here permanently. What, what we call lifetime care. Running the shelter with uh, so many ambulances, so many veterinarians, curator and staff, it takes about 10 lakhs of rupees per month. So to augment our finances, we have started a pet cemetery. So this is the only pet cemetery which is secular. So people have buried their parrots, their hamsters, their dogs, cats. It, it's in a very serene surroundings. So when you bring your pet for burial to us, we take a small amount of donation which helps us run this centre. So uh, as I famously tell people, your pet peacefully resting here under peaceful environment will give the donation will use to will use to give life to so much of wildlife. We use it for surgeries, for rehabilitation, and give life back to so much of wildlife. So please come. You can use this services of pet burial with us. So be kind, compassionate, and don't be cruel to animals.